Okay, in this video I wanted to quickly go over how to find the midpoint of a line segment. Now, if you haven't seen my video on finding the length of a line segment or on uh, vector decomposition, uh, that's on the bearings method of finding uh, distances, those would probably be good ones to look at uh, before you looked at this one. Um, nonetheless, uh, what we're going to do is we're gonna, I'm going to show an example where I'm going to have two uh, two endpoints of a line segment and then I'm going to show us how to find out uh, where the midpoint of that is. Okay, now the first thing to consider is that there's something that you can do with averages, right, that will help us to find this. Okay, now let's say for instance uh, someone weighed, um, someone bought something weighing let's say 30 kilograms, okay, and then someone else later on they bought something worth uh, weighing 10 kilograms. Okay, and what you'd notice is if you found the average weight, or in this case it would be mass, um, you would get 30 kilograms plus 10 kilograms, and you'd be dividing it by 2, okay, which would be 40 kilograms divided by 2, which is 20 kilograms. Okay, and what you should notice is that this 20 kilograms average is directly in between these two values. Okay, so that's actually what the average is. It's finding the, the space or finding the point in between two values. And we're going to use that to help us here. Okay, so let's say for instance I take two points. Right, um, and I'll just, um, just draw one up here somewhere. Okay, it doesn't have to be exact. Okay, so this point is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so 7, and this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so this point is 7, 5, and I'll call it A. Alright, and I'll draw another one down here. Okay, and I'll call this one B. And B will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so negative 5, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Great, okay, negative 6. Okay, and then I'll do is draw a line segment here, and I'm going to draw it in blue. Okay, now I'm gonna, I want to find the midpoint of the line segment, which is somewhere in this middle section here, but I don't know exactly where. Okay, what I'm going to do is I am going to, as, as with the length of the line segment, I'm going to make this into a right angle triangle. Okay, and I can do that by extending a line out like this, okay, and then, then extending another line down like this to draw a triangle. Okay, and then what you should notice is that this be a right angle triangle. Okay, and what I could do is I could find out the average, um, the h average height, okay, here, and also the average length. All right, then let's do that. Okay, so if I take average here, okay, so I want to find the midpoint of y, okay, I'll call that y mid, okay, is equal to the average of a y, okay, and b y, which is a y plus b y divided by 2. Okay, now a y is 5, b y is negative 6, Okay, so let's see here, 5 plus negative 6 divided by 2. Okay, and we get negative 1 half. Okay, so the midpoint y is at negative 1 half. Then, if we're going to do the same thing for the x part, we would find x mid is equal to the x value of a plus the uh, x value of b, all divided by 2. And then we'd get 7 plus negative 5 divided by 2, which is negative or positive 2, 2 over 2, which is 1. Okay, so then this point, the midpoint, is equal to 1, negative 0 0.5, okay, or negative half. And if we look at it, it looks about right, okay, so this point here, negative 1, 
or uh, x equals 1, y is negative point half. I'll draw it in a little brighter color here, maybe a yellow. That's not so good. Let's try this uh, brownish. There we go. Okay, and that would be the midpoint right there. And it looks right graphically. Um, this always works. Okay, it doesn't matter if you do by plus ay because you're just finding the averages. So it doesn't matter if you do a first or b first, so long as you're adding the y's and the x's. And that's how you can find the midpoint of a line. Okay, if you have any questions about this, uh, please drop a comment in the comment box or send me an email and I'll try and clarify things. If you do like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you do love the channel, then please consider subscribing.